this time we're going to have uh, Brother Graham give us a short testimony. Amen. Good evening. Uh, my name is Graham Scott. I've been a member of Verity Baptist Church uh, for four years. And Pastor asked me to give a testimony because during this time I've been commuting uh, an hour and 15 minutes each way. Uh, Wednesday night, Saturday morning, and then twice on Sunday. Uh, Brother Jared yesterday spoke to those who don't live near any of the, the churches in our movement. And I'm here tonight to speak to those who are close, somewhat close, to a church in the movement. And to encourage you that basically, if you consider yourself a fundamentalist, you need to commute to the best church in your area. That's right. Okay, I was saying when I was 13... But for about 20 years, I was backslidden. I was not going to church. And I finally started going to an IFB church for the first time in my life where I lived down in Manteca. Now, the church is King James only. It's soul winning. And it preaches salvation by grace. So it has the basics. And I thought it was a great time. I, I really thought I was doing really well. But about two years in, I ended up watching the documentary after the tribulation. And obviously, you know, whenever you see that and you've been in one of these old IFB churches... You know, something happens to you. you. You realize that, well, at least I did, that I was being misled about a major Bible job. Now, when I say I'm a fundamentalist, what I mean by that is my goal is to make my life conform as close as possible to what the Bible says because I take the Bible literally. Yeah. Now, lots of people call themselves Baptists, but a fundamentalist Baptist has committed to being utterly dependent upon the Word of God for the answer and as a guide to everything in life. And so when I was going to that church, and I thought I was going to a great fundamentalist church, but once the scales fell away, as it were, and I saw the truth of the rapture, it started me questioning all of the other aspects of that church. I became invigorated looking at, well, what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say about Sunday school, about children's church, about junior church, the bus ministry, the Schofield Bible, all these basic tenets of the old IFB church? Now, praise God, I'm only an hour and 15 minutes away from this church and so I went and I visited, and I just, you know, fell in love. It was just exactly what I needed to do. But it's a long drive. And um, it became very difficult for me to continue to go to the church I was going to. And I became unhappy, and it just became, you know, am I going to just keep gritting my teeth every time I hear a tradition of men being preached? Or am I going to do something, you know, pretty crazy and start driving, you know, for over an hour, three church services, plus soul winning each week? Now, I don't have a long commute to work. I've never had any sort of commute like this. But because I call myself a fundamentalist, I didn't think I had a choice. And if you consider yourself a fundamentalist, I don't think you have a choice either. Now, commuting, it is hard. It is not fun. And eventually, you're going to have these periods where you're just going to hate the idea of getting in that car. It is just, I mean, it is a pain. But I look at it in a bigger scale. And one thing that encourages me is what it boils down to is, number one, Jesus was tortured and killed so that I can go to heaven. And so the idea of me driving in an air-conditioned car, streaming YouTube sermons and listening to the Bible online, that's, that's not even. That's not a problem. That's not a difficulty. And number two, I really don't think fundamentalists have an option. Because if you stay in a soft church, if you continue to just suck it up, you're going to get soft. Because a fundamentalist needs to do fundamentalist things like drive two and a half hours round trip to hear one hour of preaching. So if God has blessed you with one of these great churches being an hour or two away from your home, do the fundamentalist thing and commute. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Brother Graham. We're trying to, we're trying to help you see, because some of you are here to, uh, at this conference and you're thinking, you, you got these ideas. You know, you're thinking, should I move? Should I drive an hour? Is it crazy? We're just trying to help you see you're not that crazy. And, and yeah. it's also not that hard. Uh, it's hard. But, uh, but, but there's others that have done it. So brothers can do it too. Thank you so much for the grand, great, great uh, testimony. All right, let's go ahead and grab